success in the future, bro. Yo, what's going on, MXV Nation? You feel me? Max Volume back at it with another video. I'm here with. What's up, guys? MXV Nor. I'm here for y'all. You know what we're gonna be doing is respect earned or is respect a given. You feel me? But before we start that video, make sure I smash that like button, smash that sub button, turn on post notifications, share this to everybody you know. You feel me? Everybody you know, mom, pops, dad, and the whole brother, the whole night. Y'all already know the motto. You feel me? And before we even start this video, there's a couple people I want to shout out. You know what I'm saying? Just off the top from what I remember. Shout out Max Edits. You feel me? I know you be in the comments. Always first to comment this last week and change. I've been noticing it a lot. And same thing with World Skies and everybody else too. Definitely appreciate the love. And if y'all want to get shout out in the video and stuff like that, just drop it down in the comments. You know, I, lately I've been pinning like the top comments and stuff like that. Like comments that I enjoy and stuff like that. But yo, we appreciate all the love and everybody commenting, everybody showing love. Like, like it really, it, 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 it fuels us it fuels us even more like because i already have a passion for this so like seeing that this progress and people are enjoying the content we're producing it's like it just, it just it motivates even more ironic because we were just having a conversation about that off camera and bro like i was telling nas like every day i do it more and more like you guys like i appreciate you guys for just coming along and showing support and like really showing us that we can do it like like we have something here and i appreciate you guys for showing love i really do love you guys like bro from all the max volume gang like we appreciate you and love the support i say it and i'm gonna continue to say it like i know when i first said it y'all didn't believe me but we do i personally do this for y'all bro like i love this shit bro it's addicting bro Facts. it makes me happy bro to like comment subscribe and follow us on max volume team across all platforms Bro, like I told y'all, we do this for y'all. So if y'all want more content, y'all want to see us more, you know where to find us. And y'all can, re can request videos too, you feel me? I know I, I shouted him out, World Skies. He requested, like, for the Juice Record of the Day. Biddy with Juice and Trippy. Bro, if y'all want certain type of videos and stuff like that, bro, let us know in the comments, bro. And we will sit there and do it. Sometimes it may not be done right away because we pre-record stuff. And we have stuff pre-recorded yeah. for a while. But, like, bro, we'll make it a priority to get it done. You know what I'm saying? So... Shout out everybody, and so do you think respect should be earned, or do you think respect should be given automatically? Respect should be earned, it, and it should be earned even if you've created something that's that's amazing, like, you know, because when you get to that point, to the top, people start to feel entitled and stuff, and I feel like it makes them soft, so I feel like everyone, everyone at any level should be earning everyone else's respect. Mm. To just continue to prove your character and think and to continue to sharpen your skills to, to not go soft to not forget how to do this not forget how to work hard not forget how to have a work ethic not forget how to be disciplined so i feel like it should be earned across everyone if you're a bum if you're a millionaire if you're if you're a, a, a fat person if you're a skinny person anyone even if if you're a, a dummy like i feel like we should be hard on people not mm. like assholes but i feel like we should be hard because if you really think about it it makes us sharper and it enables us more it mm. makes us stronger although it may be it may be like like tough in the beginning malleable we're able to to uh, adapt to our environment and that's that's a superpower like it's, it's amazing right. so why would you why would you try to dwindle that so like i just feel like it goes hand in hand like that's why bikes should be earned okay. by everyone Okay. What, do, what do you think? I think to an extent that your God-given right is to be respected as a human in a sense where it's like you shouldn't go and, and commit heinous acts against humans, like kill someone. Like out of respect, you shouldn't see, yeah. like let's say if it's a woman walking on the street alone, uh, it, it's, she should be respected enough where God shouldn't try to like do the most to her or like, you know, take advantage. That God-given mm -hmm. respect, you feel me? But I also yeah. agree that respect should be earned. No one is entitled. I don't think you should be entitled to respect. Like you're entitled to like be respected in a, in a CEO position if you haven't earned that. You feel me? There are yeah. certain levels of respect that they need to be earned. If you want to be a leader, yeah. you have to earn that respect. To lead a bunch of men, to lead a group of people, you should earn that respect. That shouldn't just be given because you're a human. I should be do, I, I should be able to leave. 
No. Now you should be respected as a human and given where it comes yeah. to basic human rights, like slavery and stuff like that, or like just being just attacked for no reason and, and being slaughtered for no reason. That's basic human principle, basic human decency, basic human respect. Earn that respect. Mm -hmm. that, as simple yeah. as that. You gotta earn it. Like to sit there and think that you're entitled to a certain position when you haven't put in the hard work is it, crazy. And in order to become a great general or stuff like that to lead an army, you had to earn respect. You have, even as a king, you have to have some respect. People have to respect you, in a sense like that. They they have to respect you, and you have to earn that respect. Because if you're seen as an unfit king, then people will sit there and try to kill you and assassinate you and, re and revolt. Now, when people respect you and they respect the decisions you make, with it's greater for the country and stuff like that, that's when they earn that respect because of the knowledge that they have, because of the wars that they've won, the battles that they won, the strategicness behind it. You know what I'm saying? Just like a warrior, like let's say Julius Caesar, for example, he had the respect by people because he was a conqueror. He and yeah. he, like, he would go head into battle. And he could conquer so much land. Same with Alexander the Great and some of these Napoleon, some of these conquerors. People respect them and stuff like that because they sat there and literally in a battlefield slaughtering yeah. and stuff like that for what they believed was right. They dealt with adversity. Exactly. They went through obstacles and it made them better. That's what I mean. Like if if, if we baby kids, if we baby not not just kids, um adults, how we're doing now, you know, like we can't tell them we can't tell someone, Oh, th this is wrong. Cause then you're now you're you're being an asshole. Now you're a misogynist. This and that. It just disables you more and more and more, and that affects the world because we see it all across social media, bro. Like Uber, all of this. Like it's so easy to get anything. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's so easy to feel comfortable, and, and, and that's what disables you, bro. So of course, someone like Julius Caesar is definitely going. He's definitely going to be able to lead a, 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 a group, a platoon of like three five five hundred people you know into war ready thousands. to kill themselves he really thousands he had an thousands. army of forty thousand fifty sixty thousand look like. at that the only way to do that and and i i can't even lie like i don't even feel like i'm there yet but it's all about working and continuing to to push forward you gotta be a good leader yes. like for someone to trust their life in you like you have to be a great leader exactly and 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 Staying in your room and staying in your comfort zone is not going to help you with that. Like, you have to step, make shit hard. Make shit, make shit hard so you become harder. That's Tough times to don't last. Tough people do. Remember that. Mm. The verse in the Quran is, verily through hardship comes ease. And that verse to me, that, that verse hits so hard because if you think about it, if you want paradise, you want to go to heaven, you have to work hard and go through the hardships in life in order to yep. earn the greatest reward of all time. Eternal peace. You have to sit there and go hard and work hard. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to sit there and work hard to get that. Verily Hell through yeah. hardship comes ease. No millionaire, it's not. Some people are inherit money and stuff like that, and they don't know. But generally speaking, you have to work hard to get that. Like even that person is, is going to go through adversity because that doesn't mean that they know how to play with money. Facts. So they could lose it like that. Facts. They could lose it like that. Now a person that that works through it, you know, like a person that gets it out the mud, out the mud. Bro, they have to like lose it and and gain it back, bro. And that's an adversity that rich people go through as well. There's a possibility of them losing it as well. And if they're really motivated, they gotta get it back. Plus, they also they gotta go get it back. Sports terms and stuff like that. You wanna make it to the pros and stuff. You gotta go through hard work and adversity, blood, sweat, and tears. If you wanna, yep. you can make it to the NFL. But if you wanna make it to the Super Bowl, you gotta put blood, sweat, tears. If you wanna make it to the NBA Finals, blood, sweat, tears. The World Cup, blood, sweat, tears. Now, if you wanna win the Super Bowl, win the World Cup, <laughs> win the NBA Finals, even extra hard work. Like, like everything is in life is hard, bro. And I think so many people they sit there and they ask themselves, why me? God doesn't like me. This like you shouldn't have that mindset the mindset you should have and the mindset that i've adapted that i personally have adapted is there are people who've gone through it way worse there are people who were born into slavery there are people who were slaughtered as children you know what i'm saying i'm not going to talk too much about what's going on but y'all know you feel me there are people who are being slaughtered innocent people and it's like who am i to sit there and, and to ask why me you know what i'm saying god doesn't burden anyone with something that they can't handle you feel me? You, 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 you're able to handle it. Whether you think you can handle it or not, the creator knows you can handle it. And it's about just pushing through that. He has money and stuff like that. A lot of people sit there and think their life is sweet. They may battle with drug addiction. They may battle with pills. They can. They have to take pills to sleep, take pills to wake up. They need pills to function. They, they, they're a coke addict. They're, they're addicted to heroin or anything. And you wouldn't know because it's behind closed doors. 
it's behind closed doors, so we assume that, oh, they, they've they sat there and, and they're living the best life. But no, everybody faces their hardships, bro. Said your mentality and your mindset that you've adopted. Um, where did you adopt that? Like, what helped you? What, what, helped, what triggered that? I'm not going to lie. What triggered that? I mean, a part of it came like dealing with adversity from growing up, how my father was and stuff like that. Having me and my brother, we were crying, still had to do our push-ups, protect the women yeah. in your family. But what made me really, truly adopt the, the why, not the why me mindset, but like everyone goes through hardships, yeah. was once I became more religious. When God guided okay. me and I started reading the Quran more and I started practicing my, my religion. You know what I'm saying? And, and praying my five daily prayers and watching so many Islamic videos and stuff like that, it just shaped my mindset and understanding of things. Like, my understanding of life became it became broader. And understanding that there are people, because there are stories in the Quran of people who went through it way worse, like Moses, peace be upon him, and the children of Israel were being slaughtered. So knowing that stuff, like, okay, people in the past or even prophets, they've gone through hardships. Like, they had, the, they, people wanted to kill them just for his preaching that God is one. And things like that, like, who am I to sit there and act like, like, what I'm going through is the worst? And it can yeah. be bad. Like, we as humans, we go through stress. Trust, I'll be stressing. Like, it's about when you notice that you have a problem and stuff like that, it's how to fix the problem. You know what I'm saying? How to sit there and fix it. That's what you got to do as a human. And I feel like that's what even earns people's respect, too. It's like, like when hardship comes to you, how do you deal with it? Like, we were talking about Julius Caesar and stuff like that. People respected him and stuff like that because he constantly led his bat team to battles and won and kept winning and kept earning more respect. He went and conquered the, the land of gold where no Roman was ever to conquer that land. He became the first to conquer that land without the government, without the Senate's approval. And it got him in trouble, but he earned so much respect and his army grew bigger and bigger. He became more popular for things like that. It's taking that risk. You feel me? You gotta take risk in, in, in life. Yeah. Being a warrior on a battlefield, seeing death all around you. People are dying. Your soldiers are dying. You're seeing people. You may have to kill people. Someone is trying to take your head off. But being able to survive that and understanding like, if I die on a battlefield, that's honorable. You feel me? And then be able to survive that and to continue to survive and, and push your team, like you gotta get the utmost respect. Like you're leading an entire group of people and you're gaining victory. And, and it shows them like our leader's not afraid to die so we can die for him. Like once you have that mindset, like where it's like when people look at us, it, like our leader is willing to die, be on our front lines and stuff like that, to fight alongside for us, that's the cause I can die for. And people die Bro, for their country. That's a, like think about it. That's a very stressful situation. Like, like like Nas is saying you're literally about to die so wouldn't you want to be able like want to trust the person that's leading you someone that shows that they actually care about you someone that has the mentality to, to do what needs to be done in a different like like someone is going through a, a way worse situation like 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 that's 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 a mentality a, a, a mindset that will will earn respect but you have to be authentic you can't you can't just be faking it and just be wishy-washy you know be fickle about it and and, and and quite frankly it's not easy to do like 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 Nas just told you he had to go through his whole life deal with adversity and then something that I, like not too many people do nowadays be disciplined about religion like to be praying five times a day to be reading every day to be watching videos about the same topic while while still being able to and learn do learn this do this um go like work earn money um do all the things in life that you're probably doing like it just shows how mindset can really change a person you know and, mindset and, is the and, strongest thing. And, and i feel i feel like like you you don't have to have the same mindset like like for me i have thought about that way because you know i have I think about situations about like people that I know and shit like right. I have it way worse I have it way better I have it way better and you know it can be worse but I love adversity quite right. frankly I love adversity me the way that I think is like no one is gonna do it for me so I just have to do it and and if and, and to me I take pride in 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 in, in really like short proving to myself that I can do it you know I've always been like I'm gonna set this goal and I'm gonna break it and I'm gonna be confident about it. And, and, and it's, it, it shows people that, that I'm not scared to take a risk. It shows people that I'm not scared to, to, to put something out there and, 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 and really go for it. Bro, I used to play under the whistle. When I used to play under the whistle, like every time I would like bust someone's ass in, in a game while people are watching, like, bro, like people, everyone was dapping me up. Like everyone wanted to take flicks with me, all of this shit. But 
it wasn't it, it doesn't happen overnight like i had to work for that like Thanks. like i had to work for it and, and i always thought no one's gonna do it for me there's no handouts like there's no handouts that's why i pride myself in do it yourself like do it yourself like i'm not saying like like you have to do everything yourself you could find people to help you but take the initiative to do it yourself to want to learn to to have the 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 the, the motivation the 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 persistent the and, and be disciplined about it the drive and be disciplined about it because that earns respect that does earn respect you don't have to you don't have to be chasing other people you could stay on your grind oh, and pressure like, makes diamonds pressure can yep. make or break you and that's the thing about pressure it's like you i've, I've been saying it for years like Bro, you, when you are faced with adversity and pressure, you can either fall and crumble to it, or you can sit there and get through it. And when you get through it, you just get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Like, it was instilled in me since a kid. Like, I told you, working out with my dad, having me and my brother work out, playing sports. Okay, we want to we wanna go to the championship. And practicing, and then my dad having me and my brother do extra practice, running up and down hills, forward and backwards and stuff like that. Going out doing extra stuff because that's gonna, that's what's going to make you to a champion. When, when it's like, when it's fourth quarter and you're tired and stuff, you've practiced this. The other opponent may not practice for this. And now you're able to sit there and, and give extra gas, give extra yeah. mileage and stuff like that. And on top of that, too, like even from yeah. this perspective of it, like people, they'll sit there and pray. God is all capable of everything. He can give you anything as he wills. But some, you can't just sit there and pray and expect a million dollars to fall in your lap. You got to look at it as like that. You make a prayer to God to make a million. And he may unlock the doors for you to get a chance to earn that million dollars. He gives you a chance to now earn it. Not that you just sit there and you just wait there. My and just, bro. Over here, repeat that, bro. Some people they'll sit there and they'll pray to make a million and stuff, and think they can just sit on their butt and just not waste time. The thing is, this God is capable of all things, but He may give you the chance. You want a million dollars to earn it, and it locks the certain doors for you to earn that path to a million dollars. Not that it's gonna just fall in your lap. You get a knock at your door. Hey, sir, here's a million dollars. But no, He gives you an idea in your head that you can properly execute now. And stuff like that. Like I thank God for like for everything. I'm always saying alhamdulillah and stuff like that because the thoughts that I get in my head from praying to God, I know it's him allowing me to have certain thoughts to like advance things and stuff like that and to earn the chance to be able to grow and things like that. And once you adapt that mindset, that instead of having a victim mindset, but you adapt that mindset, that that is such a game changer. Like mindset is such a big thing and it's really a game changer. Like your mind is so powerful. And once you have your mind on the right path, and you sit there and you, you and don't victimize yourself, but you sit there and look at it, people who have it worse. And we're humans. We may get stressed. Everyone gets stressed, bro. But it's to able to break yourself out of that stressness. Even when it's a, even if it's after five minutes of being angry and stuff like that, you sit there, you breathe, and you reflect, and you're like, you know what? I can handle this. And like there are people yep. going through it way worse than me. Like like yep. you know, I'm going through it. I'm I'm down bad right now, and stuff like that. But guess what? There are people who who are even worse. They got it worse, and I gotta sit there and and. And I got to continue on the family legacy. Did your ancestors die for no reason? Did they slaughter and they revolt and fight in these wars and, and, and all these things for no reason for you to just give up because you're too soft? Because you're a coward? <laughs> because you're a pussy boy? You're a feline? You're a bitch. <laughs> you know, I don't feel bad for people that, that don't succeed, bro. And and that's even putting myself in that, in that same bucket because I've tried a million things, bro. And not, bro, like... I failed so many times, bro. And in the past, I see why. I had that victim mentality, bro. I was a little bitch. I don't I don't set standards high. I keep them low, bro, and I just work, bro. When I see when I see something that I don't like and 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 I'm a I'm a very diligent person. Like I do my due diligence, so like most of the time, I know what's what's coming, bro. Even if I don't like it, bro, you just have to well, you still just got to do it. Like just do it just get it done like just get it done bro and and really like when you don't want to do it really push yourself bro like find a way bro find a way like, i'm not saying i'm i'm in the position that i want to be not yet but i bet you a million fucking dollars bro by the end of the year i'm gonna be there Inshallah. i'm working bro do you think that earning respect leads to success I think it does and I think success it's like when we did what it would define success success is, is there's so many different versions of success because there could be somebody who's very hard working they grind 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 but they'll never touch a million dollars and I, you gotta just look at it at least the way I look at it is that's God's decree 
You know what I'm saying? If, if it's willed or if it's not, you learn so many lessons a part, a part of the grind. Like, you gotta love the grind. Like, I love the process of the grind because when you're sitting there grinding, you learn so many lessons, bro. And, and you do gain respect. People will respect you around you that, that are noticing that. Now, you may, not, you may not be respected worldwide because you're not known worldwide, but the people in your community, the people around you will respect you because they see you put in that hard work. That is the only way I think you can really truly earn that, that, that respect of status. It's through the hard work that you're putting in, like the grind yep. and the grit. Like, hey, it can't be easy. Because if you, you have to be able to show people in a sense, like, listen, if I did it, then like you can do it. Like, and I sat there and busted, I grinded and grinded. There were sleepless nights and stuff like that. There were times where that, like, yo, I was stressed out to the top of my eyes. There were times I was dead tired, running off for three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep. In this world, it is temporary and stuff like that. It, it, it really is temporary. And, and the mindset that I've adapted, you know what I'm saying before, like kind of like wrapping this up and stuff, is that when something happens, I thank God. Whether it's good, I say alhamdulillah. When it's bad, I say alhamdulillah. When you have that connection, and then even if you're not a religious person, but for those people who are and stuff like that, thanking God when something good happens and when something bad happens is powerful. Because something bad can happen to you, but it could always be worse. It could always be worse. You have to sit there and think like that. Like it can always be worse in a sense. You you could lose a thousand dollars, but you could have lost your life. You can lose $500 and it could have been a million dollars you lost. You can lose something, but it could have been way worse. And you have, when you have that mindset, like it could have been worse and thank God that it wasn't worse and stuff like that. And I feel like that's when uh, you, you, you go through life with, with easierness. It becomes I easier. Agree. Because your I heart agree. and your mind are now aligned. And it's like, you're not as affected as somebody, oh, somebody, you, you and somebody else can get hit with the same exact affliction and same type of hardships. Yeah. And they may crumble completely and you may just suffice yep. and, 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 and you might become grow. the fucking Hulk, nigga. Literally. Respect be earned or given. Respect is a God given right to an extent, as in human respect and human decency. You deserve that to be respected. But when you want status and you want a certain level of respect, that has to be earned. It has to be. You, you can't just be given respect as a CEO when you haven't earned that. And you can't. And in, in life, you have to earn things. Like, literally, in life, you have to earn things, bro. It's like there are signs in that. Like you, if you want to go to the pros. You want to be named the greatest of all time. You have to earn people's respect. You have to get it done. And I'm saying and that's how you earn people's respect. You can't be average and stuff like that in a sense. You it's can't. Not, Even I, if you I, make I'm, average money, but it's like your mindset can't be average. You can't have the mindset, the average mindset, the victim mindset. You know what I mean? You kind of sort of have to be crazy in a sense. and be obsessive and be obsessive about what you're what you're planning on building. I I believe that respect should be earned and 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 respect should be hard to be to to earn. So so when you do acquire it, it just means that much more. Right. It just means so much more and you take more pride in it. And then from there on you you look to set new goals to earn more respect from bigger people from from people that are, not to be like like judgmental or 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 like discriminatory but better than you like like it's all about levels. We can't even lie, bro. Like your mentality improves, your your religious values they improve. You become more disciplined, you make more money, you have better relationships. Like even with relationships with people in your life, in your everyday life, you have to work to make that, you know, you have to work to, to make that a, a, a relationship that you love. Even even if it's a family, like, you know, you have families that ju they're just family and they just live in the house, bro. But they don't really talk like that because like, like, you know, like, I, I kind of feel like it, it, it's kind of weird for some people and it's just like you have to work you have to talk to them you have to go out or eat with them or do nice things to them it's all about working it's all about improving and I believe like that's how it should be other than than what you said and respect should be given like about the killing and all of that I agree like that's I feel like that's basic but when it comes to you know becoming a person in this world you should you should definitely work to earn it Definitely. That's and you I'm should always about. be seeking that. Man. Make sure y'all smash that like button, smash that sub button, turn on post notifications. Love y'all MXV Nation, but Max, I am out.